Dale Irving, of course, for Cavalier. This is how they all shape up. Cavalier. Jadine White is between the sticks. They'll yeah, share the position himself and Vino Barclay. But Jadine White in pretty good form. Leng has been consistent this season in that starting lineup, even with the absence of Kyle Ming, who plays today. And Richard King, who is out on national duty. Gadale Irving, the captain. Christopher Ainsworth will play in the wide ears. Ronaldo Barrett, good to see him back in the starting lineup, recovering from injury. Quinn Thompson. And a late entrance into the start in the left at the expense of Dwayne Allen who picked up a knock in warm-up. Chanel Thomas, our player to watch, Shamar Watson, McCleary and Jalmaro Calvin, their leading goal scorer, complete the start in the left. Expecting a 4-3-3, but we know that Rudolph Speed and Cavalier are a team that like to switch it up for these big games. But a lot of positionally fluid players in this Cavalier lineup, so expect to see a lot of that. Portmore themselves can morph their lineup at times. Tyrone Williams between the sticks and not the Benjamin variety. Okila Howard, Stephen Young, Alvinus Myers, the St. Lucian back into the starting lineup. Jaheen Rose, Akeem Mullins, Alex Marshall, the captain and player to watch. Emilia Rousseau, who wore the captain's armband for quite a bit this season. Stephen Barnett, who made the transfer from Dumble Holding earlier this season. Jamari Morrison and Martin Davis, who had lost for Martin Davis, finds his way Alexi Perry in charge of this big fixture. Portmore in there, full blue with red trim. Doing some defending. Cavalier shows a bit of energy in the first moments. Kyle Ming with the strike was going well wide. Or probably would have picked out a teammate at the back post. And then this moment for Martin Davis. Hesitated with the shot, pulled it back. And then this decision was a wrong one when Alex Marshall was free on the penalty spot to start away. What Alex Marshall didn't know is that he would have another chance from the penalty spot minutes later. But then Chanel Thomas cut on to his left hand side. He was leading the attack for the Cavalier team. And then this moment, Stephen Barnett bundled over into the in the box. And Alexi Perry pointing to the spot. Uh, rightful penalty for Portmore. And Alex Marshall made no mistake. Sent JD right the wrong way. And his left foot made no mistake. Third of the season, 1 0 Portmore after. 36 minutes. This was the second half, the first minute of it, and Kadiel Irving, the captain of Cavalier, hitting the crossbar. They would find the frame three or four occasions. This moment inside the era, Davis just couldn't organize himself. His footwork wasn't the best, Davis, and his head couldn't find the right direction. Then this on the edge of the area, Howard letting fly just wide as Portmore continued to attack. Then Cavalier finding this opportunity. McClary with the strike initially. The captain Irving driving into there. McClary again. And then Calvin finding the frame of the goal for the second time Cavalier. Calvin, their leading goal scorer, had the beating of Williams but not the goal post. And it remained 1-0. Then Portmore driving into the area. Alex Marshall looking for a second of the game but couldn't find the target over the top for the Portmore captain. A last minute opportunity for McCleary, heading it over Williams, but again for the third time, the crossbar. And then letting fly Tyrone Williams, probably was missing the target and Williams was making sure a clean sheet for him and a big three points for Portmore United, 1-0 over Cavalier. Ninety minutes of football, just four shots on target between two big teams in this league. Twelve attempts from Cavalier, nine from Portmore United. The accuracy, well, wasn't at its best to say the least. Twenty-three fouls and five yellow cards shown from Alexi Perry. Cavalier certainly getting frustrated as the match worn on, wore on, and you could see that in terms of the fouls and cards. They enjoyed majority of the corners and they had majority of the possession as well, but. For the third time in a row, they have been unable to break down this Portmore defence, who have the best defensive record in the league. Yeah, a big three points for Philip Williams and his team. Portmore United, 1-0 winners. Let's talk to a man of the match, the captain, the goal scorer, Alex Marshall. Yeah, today's man of the match, Alex Marshall, captain for today as well. You got the pivotal goal, but you did a lot of work off the ball also. How do you describe your performance? 
Uh, you know, it wasn't it wasn't the best performance for myself. Um, but you know, um, uh, I helped my team defensively, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. And we got the three points. You know, so I'm, I'm congrats to my teammates as well and the coaching staff. I know you've been drawing a lot of games lately, but I'm sure this win has given you a lot of confidence beating a big Cavalier team, especially going into the playoffs. Yeah, you know, it's uh, always good to beat Cavalier, you know, a um, tough opponent, you know. They got a few chances, which could have, the game could have went either way, but, you know, thankful to our goalkeepers and our defenders, you know, we kept a clean sheet. And you're seen as a talisman for this team, rightfully so, a player of your quality. What do, how far do you think this Portmore United team can go? Are you eyeing the title? Yeah, we're, we're in um, you know, the title, but you know, we want to get back into the CFU, and that's the aim right now. But you know, um, we're just taking it one game at a time, and hopefully being the, the top two are you know, a chance for the playoffs. Our excellent performance today. Uh, great win also. Best of luck for the rest of the season. Yes, thank you.